What up, though? And welcome back to my new YouTube channel, Old School Hip Hop Head Rio Reacts. Now, today is Monday, September the 6th, 2021. It's Labor Day 2021. And we have some very bad news, especially um, for the black entertainment community. Uh, we lost a legend today. And that legend being Michael K. Williams, a.k.a. Omar Little from The Wire. Now, um, Omar Little is a legendary character in black entertainment, black cinema, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, The Wire, to me, and I think for most black people, especially of a certain age, The Wire is like the godfather to black people, yo. Um... I mean, it's just fucking legendary, yo. And Omar was one of the lead characters in the show. He was there from the beginning to the end. Um, very significant character played by Michael K. Williams. And Michael K. Williams also played the boy Chalky White in Boardwalk Empire. So salute and RIP to Michael K. Williams, a true African American entertainment slash cinema legend, yo. Cinnamon, uh, TV, whatever you want to call it, legend, no doubt. Um, so, without further ado, let's pay tribute and homage to the boy Michael K. Williams. Omar coming, nigga. Let's get it. Stink them. One of the Barksdale's hitters. No, who got back top shot? Okay. Look at that nigga pants, it's huge. Hey now. <laughs> Oh, that's my nigga Wee Bay right there begging out with Omar. Wee Bay, top goon of the Barksdale crew. Got his ass popped though. Damn, look at that rat. <laughs> that's... Oh shit. Best not miss, nigga. Some creepy shit. Hey, yo, lesson here, baby. You come at the king, you best not miss. Oh, shit, look at that little kid even running. <laughs> oh, my coming, nigga. Oh, my coming. Oh, my coming. <laughs> Chin, chin, chin. Oh, boy, you best roll out. 
Oh, I think not, Terrell. I think not. <laughs> Yo, might need to think this through and stop wasting my time. Cause Omar can come back tomorrow. And the next day. And the next day. And I will put a bullet in all y'all behind what happened right now. You heard? Gangster shit right there, nigga. Not only is he robbing niggas that he knows and who know him, he just called this nigga by his own first name, son. <laughs> Strictly off a of voice. Like he heard his voice and knew who the fuck he was and called him by his name. Right? And not only did he is he robbing niggas that you know that they know each other. But nigga, it is broad motherfucking daylight and he ain't got no mask on. <laughs> he turned his back on them. On the spot. This ain't no crack house. This the stash spot. Like this like with Fort Knox, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. He turned his back on the spot, nigga. They gotta, that's what a killer's supposed to be. They ain't protecting the work and the money. What the fuck? This nigga, the Ellis nigga. <laughs> the whole Rio, gone. He taking his time and shit. Fair enough. Fair enough. They must not have gave him everything. They split it with him. Man with them jumbo six. Oh, this one he had to go to New York. Man, you fucking one. Take about three or four hundred. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Same game, different city, baby. Let's go. All in the game, yo. <laughs> All in the game. <laughs> <laughs> time from across the street to, to come in the courtroom or some shit. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth? Look at Bird. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. AKA Fredro, I think that's his name. State your name for the record. Omar Devon Little. Mr. Little, how old are you? About 29. About. about. And where do you live? No place in particular, man. You're homeless? And the wind, so to speak. And what is your occupation? In the wind. Occupation? What exactly do you do for a living, Mr. Little? I rip and run. You? I rob drug dealers. <laughs> and exactly how long has this been your occupation, Mr. Little? Oh, I don't know exactly. I venture to say maybe about eight or nine years. Mr. Little, how does a man rob drug dealers for eight or nine years and live <clears throat> to tell about it? <sighs> Day to time, I suppose. <laughs> Mr. Little. <laughs> can I ask why you came forward in this case? I told the police what I know. Were you offered anything in exchange? Like what? Were you arrested? where you're going to be charged with a crime and by testifying, did the police agree to drop those charges? No, man, ain't even about that. How many times have you been arrested as an adult, Mr. Little? Sure, I done lost count. Not to do that to take it personal. Possession of a handgun, possessing a concealed weapon, assault by pointing, robbery, deadly weapon, by possession of a handgun again. Followed by violation of parole on weapon charges. Followed by one count of attempted murder and use of a handgun in commission of a felony. That wasn't no attempt murder. Hmm. What was it, Mr. Little? 
Shot the boy Mike, Mike and his hind parts, that all. His hind parts. Fixed it so he couldn't sit right. <laughs> Why just the judge Mike laughing? His, um, his hind parts, just a little. Let's say we had a disagreement. A disagreement over? Well, you see, Mike, Mike thought he should keep that cocaine he was slinging and the money he was making from slinging it. I thought otherwise. So you, you rob drug dealers? This is what you do? Yes, sir. You walk the streets of Baltimore with a gun, taking what you want, when you want it, willing to use violence when your demands aren't met. This is who you are. Why <laughs> believe anything yeah. you say? That's up to y'all, really. You say you are here testifying against the defendant because of any deal you made with police. True that. That you're here because you 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 want to tell the truth about what happened to Mr. Gant in that housing project parking lot. Yeah. When in fact you are exactly the kind of person who would, if you felt you needed to shoot a man down on a housing project parking lot and then lie to the police about it, would you not? And look, I never put my gun on no citizen. You are a moral, are you not? You are feeding off the violence and the despair of the drug trade. You're stealing from those who themselves are stealing the lifeblood from our city. Get him, Omar, you are let's go. You a parasite who leaches off Just like you, the man. culture of drugs. Excuse me? What? I got the shotgun. You got the briefcase. We got the briefcase. It's on the game, though, right? Right? Mr. Lawyer? Yeah. The judge agrees. This old white motherfucker, his wife goes up. He's like, young man, you know where the pole house is? I'm like, uh, you kidding? Look around. Take your pick. <laughs> he got a point. So the old man, he's like, the pole house. The Albert Allen pole house. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know no Elwood Allen Poe. The man look at me all sad and shit like I let him down. Edgar Allen Poe. <laughs> the Poe house. Oh, shit. I get it now. You don't see nothing in the back room, right? This her brother Earl from the VA hospital. He's supposed to stay with me. Can you help me? <laughs> Earl look <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Oh shit, I ain't touching that nigga. Oh, dog. <laughs> so he's acting like he got the, uh, the, the Muhammad Ali nigga. Thank you, young man. joint man do tell he just dropped that shit <laughs> oh shit brother who's old nigga bull tie That's far enough. Drop your laundry and turn slowly. So you gonna rob me now? I need to remind you who I am. <laughs> Omar, isn't it? Pull it slowly, then toss it. Oh, I will move slow. I ain't tossing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so if you gonna do, you might as well go ahead and make it. Talk that gangster shit, Omar. <laughs> I ain't tossing shit, nigga. <laughs> so you gonna rob me now? I need to remind you who I am. Omar, isn't it? <laughs> nigga, I know who you are. Pull it slowly. 
then toss it. Oh, I will move slow. I ain't tossing nothing. Whole <laughs> time. So if you're gonna do, you might as well go ahead and make it quick. I knew you'd come back. I trust you didn't lose sleep over it. Worrying about you be like wondering if the sun gonna come up. Ain't about to wild out over it. But I wanna know is how you find me. Your boy. He didn't give you up easy. Ain't the sugar water run through them veins. Mm -hmm. You kill him. He's resting. I see you favor a 45. Tonight I do. <laughs> now keeps one in the chamber in case you ponder. <laughs> in case you ponder it, nigga. Let's go. That showpiece you got there. Walther, PPK, 380, double action. Hit them Walters like to jump some. As will you, with one in your elbow. <laughs> you ain't got enough firepower to make my joint useless. It definitely won't stop me from emptying out half my mag. You might not hit me. This range? And this caliber? Even if I miss, I can't miss. Mm. I admire a man with confidence. I don't see no sweat in your brow neither, bro. <laughs> I suppose we could stand here all night. Suppose we could. Or settle this once and forever. I want to ask you something, brother. Omar listening. Omar listening. <laughs> That's a gangster conversation for your ass, nigga. Yo, them two motherfucking killers right there, nigga. Brother Buzon had more bodies in the Chinese cemetery, nigga. Man, that shit was gangster, nigga. Neither nigga was given an inch, yo. Nobody was budging on that one, yo. Yo, that shit was hard body, yo. Yo, you get so many life lessons from the way, yo. That shit was ill. And yo, my listening. <laughs> oh, shit. He told that nigga uh, something about making him jump. <laughs> he said, I heard them PKs like to jump or some shit. These niggas say, just like you when I shoot your ass. <laughs> ah, that shit was hard, nigga. Yeah, them Walters like to jump some. As will you, with one in your elbow. <laughs> that gun ain't got enough firepower to make my joint useless. I want to ask you something, brother. One more listening. Need to holler on it, yo. See, see. You're mama mia. <laughs> <laughs> so you got silk pajamas in the big ass 44. Was that a 357? What was that? Oh, a key. This nigga living in an abandoned house. That shit looked straight on the inside. Well, not really. He did have like a mini college refrigerator and shit. <laughs> this thing got house shoes and some silk pajamas with a silk robe. <laughs> That's a gangster for your ass. <laughs> Y'all ain't got no honey nut? Y'all ain't got no honey nut? <laughs> what do you see? They caught the new pope. Niggas running like roaches, nigga. Hey, 
them niggas, yo? Or did he just go there and stop to light his cigarette? And they just thought he was coming to rob them niggas. <laughs> That's the classic definition of your reputation precedes you, yo. <laughs> this nigga just walked, stopped, lit a cigarette, and they dropped the sack. <laughs> Anything to keep that nigga from running up in there. They don't, obviously, they don't know if he got a gun or not. You know what I mean? They just like, fuck all that, yo. Just give, just give that nigga something to keep him moving, son. <laughs> That's some gangsta shit right there, nigga. Oh, shit. <laughs> this nigga comfortable as a motherfucker. shot that nigga. <laughs> so you got money falling out the sky. what's going on man just in case there's some young niggas out there who ain't never seen the wire before and they a little confused about like what the fuck is going on this nigga just went to go get some cereal he came back with a sack and now he sat down with some light-skinned puerto rican nigga with cornrows like what's going on all right so here it is omar is the most gangster nigga in the history of gangster niggas as we've already seen but omar is also Gaining a motherfucker, son. <laughs> I mean, he got a lot of a lot of man on man action scenes in this motherfucking series, son. He was gaining a motherfucker. <laughs> he was a gay gangster, dog. <laughs> Yo, so just imagine it was insult to injury for these street niggas. Anytime he got over on these street niggas, not only was they getting robbed, shot, whatever the case may be, but they also had to live with the fact that the dude who did it to him was gay. <laughs> oh, shit, yo. This, yo, Omar could have been the first Karomo son. And if you don't know who Karomo is, go watch The Real World. I don't know which one it was, bro, but Karomo was gay. But my nigga Romo had hands, boy. <laughs> and then somebody came out with a bar that said niggas is homo thugs like Karomo. <laughs> Karomo whooped the nigga ass on the show, nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, man. So now you have it. All right? Now you know the cat's out the motherfucking bag. Omar was a gay gangster. He like, fuck these niggas. Like... You see, that wasn't even a challenge for him. He walking around in his motherfucking silk pajamas and niggas <laughs> and robbing niggas with no gun, just a motherfucking cigarette, you know what I'm saying? And some Cheerios <laughs> and he robbing niggas. They don't have the honey nut? I don't even want this now. Why not? It ain't what you taking, it's who you taking it from, you feel me? How you expect to run with the wolves come night and you spend all day spawning with the puppies? Watch the queen. It's a gem for your ass for you street niggas out there. Full house. What up though, Marlo? Yeah. Alright, everybody, let me see. 
see them hands, yo. Hands. Hey, yo, big man, back up. I don't know about cars, but uh, I think these four fives be the full house. <laughs> hey, yo, bank to cash me out, yo. <laughs> Boy, you want to hit on that body, you best hop too. <laughs> That's my money. Man, money ain't got no owners. Only spenders. I tell you something else. I like that ring too. <laughs> Wear it in health, nigga. Boy, you got me confused when a man repeats himself. This ain't over. Well, that's how you carry the shorty. Huh? Cause uh, I can find your peoples a whole lot easier than they can find me. <laughs> Where we didn't help. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> it's a gangster shit to say to a nigga. Cheese, aka Johnny fucking Blaze, aka Method Man. Yo, that shit was <laughs> shit. Oh man. You know who got the fattest asses and the best pussy? Well, midgets, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck happened to our boy on the door? Mm. Mr. Papa. Fix this joke. What's <laughs> the problem? Right out of the <laughs> so you just too busy being baby. Oh no, it's not. You see the look on Prop Joe's face, son? Prop Joe said, holy shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, hold on, son. What is that? Come on, man. Like, well, come on, man. Like, Prop Joe. <laughs> Prop Joe just saw his whole life flash before his eyes when he pulled that big ass DE out, nigga. Go <laughs> Holy shit. Let me run that back. <laughs> you know who got the fattest asses and the <laughs> midgets, nigga. Damn. The fuck happened to our boy on the door? Siesta, Papa. Fix this joke. What's the problem? <laughs> right out of time. Like, Joe, you've been so busy being devious, you done messed around and got yourself caught up in the web. No more. Oh, you know, you Come on now, Joe. Ain't no time for no lies now. <laughs> See, I need you to be straight. Just like you did on that New Day co-op sit down. Oh, yeah, I know about that. Mm -hmm. I know you the one got Marlo up in this mess, too. Yo, Ma, take a deep breath. The proposition might fall kindly on your ear. But took my fancy fat man. <laughs> Money, drugs, you can do better than that. Hey, we 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 coming at this all wrong. See, you the one with the high card. You should <laughs> take on my fancy fat man. You gonna serve up Marlo. <laughs> you know Marlo's favorite? <laughs> I got a real powerful urge to take everything he owns. And I'm quite confident you the man can make that happen. It might take some doing. No, nah, no, nah, see, we got to have it simple. Omar like a simple. So how we gonna do this, yo? Omar like a simple. Huh? <laughs> My sister's boy. He do the drop. <laughs> we call you. Give up the you spot. see that nigga face? <laughs> That's simple enough. That's what it is. He like, no, no, nigga, he shoot crazy. <laughs> you wanna take out Marlo's thing? <laughs> Expression on that nigga face, dog. Like, nigga, you'll be volunteering me for that shit. Make that happen. It might take some doing. No, no, see, we got to have it simple. See, Omar like it simple. Omar like it simple. So, how we gonna do this, yo? Huh? My sister's boy. He did a job. We call you. Give up the spot. 
You're doing something foul, Joe. I mean, I might got to go tell Marlo you the one put me up on that card game. Damn. Joe playing both sides Damn of the thing. fence. I'm going to hand wrap my ticket so I can tip on out. <laughs> Come on out. <laughs> what up, though, Slim? Stansfield crew. Marlowe's crew. Getting revenge for Black Butchie right now. Blind Butchie, I'm sorry. Four-story building, son. Where the police at? They don't see this nigga walking around with a damn shotgun. One, two, three. trying to call Marlo out in the streets. He's trying to spread the word. Trying to make that nigga come out of hiding. But Marlo ain't even in hiding, but I ain't gonna say too much. I'll just go down there and get that shit. I wouldn't, but you know, somebody could. Yo, yo, put it in his ear. Marlo Stanfield is not a man for this town. You dig? Oh, no. 
I'm cutting this part just so y'all niggas know. We don't need to see this. We need to pack a new pulp. That's it. <laughs> I can't handle what was about to come next, yo. All right, man, there it is. R.I.P. Michael K. Williams, a.k.a. Omar motherfucking Little. Omar coming, nigga. Salute. I'm out.